Why, hello, my fellow God of Warians. We are back, and we are playing the game of the gods! God of War. What's up, everybody? And, wow, God of Warians just sounded terrible. I don't know where I came up with that one, but that sounded just like absolute garbage. But anyways, guys, back to some more God of War. Now that we're done with uh, Zelda 2, I can focus a little bit more on this game, as well as... Um, focus on what I'm going to do as my next Let's Play, which I have not decided at all what it's going to be this for. But whatever. Anyways, here, we got to drag the Minotaurs. Damn it. Shit! This sucks. So, yeah, this is basically a little puzzle here, and what we got to do is you got to... Well, they keep giving us magic containers, thank God. What you gotta do is you gotta drag these minotaurs, well, at least one of them, onto the switch. And then once you have them on a switch... Come on, man. Damn it! Jeez. There you go. Run. Ooh, barely made it. But that's how you got to do it. Uh, first time I did, I struggled quite a bit on that part. Because it's, it's just a major pain in the ass. Oh, I just killed innocent civilians. Oh, well. Don't worry, you don't get penalized in this game for killing civilians. As a matter of fact, you get rewarded. They give you tr they give you some health for killing innocent civilians. So, whatever. But, yeah, guys. Uh, right now, we are in the city. The main area of Athens. Or the city of Athens. And, basically, we're trying to make our way, I believe it's been a while since I played so I'm not 100% positive, but I believe we're trying to make our way to uh, to uh, the god of war himself uh, Ares will we get there? well that's why I'm um, let's playing it so you guys can enjoy the story and find out but only I know and you guys don't unless you've played the game already so here you just want to make sure you open up every single door. You don't want to miss anything because there's some very valuable treasure that e that's very easy to miss. So just make sure you don't... Oh boy, we got another Medusa here. Oh yeah. Now remember, if you just blow a Medusa's head up like that, you get a little bit of magic. So make sure you don't pass Let up on that. Oh, nice. And we got a Rage of the Titans, which just recharged itself. And we got another Phoenix Feather. But we got to look around because it's easy to miss treasure here. And we don't want to miss any. Okay, nothing there. Just got to make sure we cover every little house. Very important we do that. Woohoo! Nothing here, but we did get a few little orbs, so we'll take it. You bastard. Okay, nothing here. A lot of empty houses. I don't know why they did I guess they just do it really to annoy you more than anything. Kill him. Kill him. Kill everybody. Okay, now. This one's easy to miss. The first time I play this game, I almost missed this, tr this box. With our final Gorgon's Eye. We get six of them. Our magic, um, our health container, maximum health is increased. And now it starts all over again. Six more Gorgon's eye and Eyes, and our maximum health is increased again. So, don't want to miss any Gorgon's Eyes, and you don't want to miss any uh, Phoenix Feathers either. Okay, so far, just a lot of uh, empty places. Aha, you're dead. Let's get up there. Assuming there's something good here, right? Always, there's always something good. Yay, red orbs! And we will, tr I think we will, oh crap, did I miss something here? No, I don't think so. Uh, a little lost, well not lost, but like I said, I don't want to miss anything, so. Check out this house. Nothing. Moving on to the next house. Oh yeah. Okay, nothing here either. 
Luckily, they give you really easy archer guys to take out. I mean, they're an absolute joke, so really just no issue whatsoever with them. And I think soon they're going to give us another two Medusas to deal with. Anything here? No. No. Oh, wait. Almost, almost missed the magic barrel. So how is there? Oh, Minotaurs. What this means. Yeah, baby. Easy kill. Damn it. That one didn't die in time. Oh, well. Oh, well. Make sure you save your Rage of the Gods. We're gonna need it. Damn it, die. Some tough Minotaurs. Good grief. There you go. Ugh. Right to the throat. Ah, get him, Kratos. Yeah, that hurts. Where's those Medusas when we need them? We need some magic. Alright, make sure you don't miss any of this again, because these are easy to miss. Very easy to miss. I can't even open it right. There you go. Another Gorgon's Eye. It starts already. Look how quick. Collect them. And another Phoenix Feather. Two more Phoenix Feathers, and we increase our maximum magic container. Alright, nothing here. I think that's it for this air. Ooh, Medusas. Again, you want to do the, the roll. Every time you encounter Medusa, I mentioned it when we first encountered him. You want to do the little roll thing because... Ah, crap. I killed it before I could get any magic back. Oh, well. Yeah, you want to do the roll because uh, the last thing you want... Okay, it came from there. It's to be turned into stone, and then if something shoots you while you're stone, that's it. You're pretty much dead. Instant death. So, don't let it happen. And it's, what's interesting is, I always thought it was, see this game, this game has it a little bit wrong. The actual story of the Medusa, well not the story of the Medusa, but the actual powers of Medusa was, if you look into her eyes, you just turn into stone instantly. And In this game, they portray it as, uh, if you stand in her, like, she, they portray it as her shooting a beam, and if you're in the beam long enough, you die. Or you turn, I mean, you die, you turn to stone, and that's not the actual case, so... It's just a little, I mean, it's, I don't mean a nitpick, but it's just a, an interesting little uh, tidbit to remember. Okay, again, there's lots of, lots of boxes everywhere. Want to miss any of that? More red orbs? Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, before we head on, let me see... Yeah, before we head on, let's go and uh, upgrade our Blades of Chaos some more. Again, we could, if we wanted to, we could um, upgrade Poseidon's Rage or Medusa's Gauge, but I always prefer to upgrade the Blades of Chaos all the way before worrying about anything else. And we're and we're so close to powering it up. We need 128 more orbs. We'll get there. Don't worry. Just blow all this up. <laughs> I remember the first time I played this game here, I got stuck. I didn't realize you could break through this block, so I was just like, ugh. Was kind of annoyed more than anything. Alright. Oh, look at that. That looks... Alright, here we get a new little element to introduce. The rope. Oops. Okay. Alright, climb up. Because we got... More orbs, yay! And now we can actually upgrade. There we go. Now we have enough orbs. Let's go ahead and just put it in. Actually, we don't. Jesus, I thought we had. Yeah, cutting it close. I'm just, I, I'm being a little antsy, I guess. I really want to. Uh... There you go. Yeah, you don't take any fall damage or anything like that. Look at that. That look, he looks awesome, especially in the the re-updated graphics for the PS3. That is just sick. Okay, nothing here. Just double checking because I don't remember every little uh, nook and cranny of the game. Can't open that. Alright, how about this? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, baby. Alright, now up here we're gonna run into... Actually, let's not... 
miss any of these. Hey, it's free orb, so, you know, why not, right? Okay. Can we open this? There you go, see? Gotta be, you gotta be very, very weary of what's around you, because it's so easy to miss, to miss, uh, doors and whatnot in this game. Holy crap, everyone's running away. What the hell is going on here? Here's where we're gonna utilize our Rage of the Gods. Here we go, we got these guys again. Let's go ahead and use our Rage of the Titans here. We'll take them out very quickly with it. That's one dead. Kill another one. Yeah, baby. Nice and quick. One more. This one, unfortunately, we have we don't have uh, any more Rage of the Gods or Titans to use against it. It's, yeah, I'm sorry. I get Rage of the Titans with Gods confused. Rage of the Titans is God of War 3, I think, or 2. I think it's 2. This one's Rage of the Gods. Yeah, baby. Die. Uh, these definitely are tough little guys. Well, I shouldn't say little guys. Huge guys. Die. Oh my god, I blocked that time. I need fear. No, get off me! You're not allowed to grab me like that. It blocked! It's only people instead of him. <laughs> there you go. Lots of orbs from them. And the door opens for us to advance. However, now we can upgrade our blades. So let's finish it off. Blades of Chaos are now level 3. We get Cyclone of Chaos, L1 plus square. I'm going to have to kind of remember how to do that because right now I don't. Um, Valor of Hercules, Triangle, Triangle, Square, Hades, Revenge. All right, I'm going to forget half of these moves, but whatever. It's level 3. It's a stronger blade now. I'm sorry! <laughs> Just kill him. <laughs> that was kind of mean. All right, let's see if there's any other doors we can open here. Save, got it. You got to Find all the possibilities. You can't miss anything. More orbs. A lot of this game is exploration. So, especially later on where you just come back to the same places so many times. Okay. Wish I knew, though. It's hard to tell. That's my biggest criticism. It's hard to tell what doors you could smash open and which doors you can't. You just have to kind of guess sometimes. There's a handle to raise the gate, but it's on the other side, of course. This is starting to sound a lot like Resident Evil, isn't it? We would need the crank to open the door. Nah. I assure you that while God of War 1 is annoying with that, there's much worse. God of War is probably the most annoying with that. Then they get a little more lenient and not as many annoying puzzles. Stay away. Don't come near me. Wait. I just want to talk. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be wary here too because you can smash. You'll notice some of these have cracks on them. You can actually smash them open. Oops. Gotta be a safe point coming up, right? Nice, another Gorgon's Eye. Four more and we get our max life up again. Health, in case we need it. We're fine on health right now. Okay. Stay back. I just want to talk. I just want to talk with you. I want to be your friend. Why is she running away from us? I just want to be your friend. Health. We don't need lots of health. Oh my god. Oh, this room. Let's not go down yet. Let's go into this room and see what we got here. I think we have more walls we can smash, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep, here's one. I believe this is a phoenix feather. Nope. I was wrong. It's not a phoenix feather. I think there was one here. No? Hmm. Hmm. Don't the floors look so pretty? Ha-ha! 
Magic, we need magic. There you go. Okay. Nothing else for us to do here for now. We'll be back. So let's just continue. Now, at the bottom is where we were, so we want to jump across. I thought there was a... I know who you are. I know what you've done. Monster. Wait. Stay back! Get away from me! I just want to talk to you. Come here! I just want to be your friend. Come here, buddy. Stay away. Don't come buddy. Keep away. Oh boy. Uh She's dead. I'm sorry, folks. <sighs> this game, this game just promotes so much violence. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh man. Let's open this up first. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, another Phoenix Feather. One more and we get our maximum uh, magic up. But guys, this is a good time to stop. We're all out of time for this episode. We will see what that glowy thing on the woman was next time and continue on. Thank you guys for watching this episode of God of War Trilogy. See you for the next part. Bye.